Now we'll look at four examples of solving application problems using given equations or formulas. In example one, the maximum heart rate is the highest heart rate achieved during the maximal exercise. In general, you get the most benefits and reduce the risks when you exercise within your target heart rate zone. Usually this is when your exercise heart rate or pulse is about 80% of your maximum heart rate. The formula M equals 0 0.8 times the quantity 220 minus A gives the recommended maximum heart rate M in beats per minute for a person who is A years of age. What is the recommended maximum heart rate for a person who is 40 years old? Because we're trying to find the recommended maximum heart rate for a person who is 40 years of age, and we're told A is the years of age, we're going to substitute A equals 40 into our formula here, where M gives the recommended maximum heart rate. So again, we know we'll substitute A equals 40 into the equation to find M. So starting with the formula M equals 0 0.8 times the quantity 220 minus A, perform substitution, we'll have m equals 0 0.8 times 220 minus 40. Simplifying using the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. So we need to find this difference here. 220 minus 40 is equal to 180. And now we multiply. 0 0.8 times 180 is equal to 144. So m equals 144 in the units would be beats per minute. Let's go ahead and write the answer as a complete sentence. We'll say the recommended maximum heart rate for a person 40 years of age is 144 beats per minute. Let's look at another example. A golfer strikes a golf ball. The height h in feet of the ball above ground after t seconds is given by the equation h equals negative 16 t squared plus 80 t. So t is time in seconds and h is height in feet. We're asked to determine the height of the ball after three seconds, show all work, and write your answer in a complete sentence. So because we're trying to find the height after three seconds, we're going to substitute t equals three into the given equation. So our equation is h equals negative 16t squared plus 80t. So now we'll substitute 3 for t. So h equals negative 16 times 3 squared plus 80 times 3. Simplifying, we first simplify the exponents. 3 squared is equal to 3 times 3, which equals 9. So we have negative 16 times 9 plus 80 times 3. We multiply before we add, so negative 16 times 9 is equal to negative 144. Then we have plus 80 times 3, which equals 240. And finally, we have h equals negative 144 plus 240 is equal to 96. And the units for the height is feet. So now we know the height of the golf ball after 3 seconds is... 96 feet. Example three, simple interest is given by the formula A equals P plus PRT, where A is the accrued value of the investment after T years, and P is the starting principal invested, or starting amount, at an annual percentage rate of R expressed as a decimal. Sally buys a $1,000 savings bond that pays 4% simple interest each year. How much will the bond be worth after five years? So she buys a $1,000 savings bond. It pays 4% simple interest. And she wants to know the value after five years, which means P, the starting principal, equals $1,000. R, the interest rate, equals 4%, which must be expressed as a decimal, which would be 0 0.04. And she wants to know the worth after five years, so t, which is time in years, equals five. So using the simple interest formula, a 
equals P plus PRT, we can answer the question. The amount after five years, or A, is equal to P, which is 1,000, plus P times R times T, which is 1,000, times R as a decimal, 0 0.04, times T, which equals 5. So we have A equals, simplifying, we multiply before we add, so we want to find this product here, 1,000 times 0 0.4 times 5 is equal to 200. Of course, we can check this. 1,000 times 0 0.04 times 5 equals 200. So A is equal to 1,000 plus 200. So A is equal to 1,200. And we know the units here would be dollars. Looking back at this line, notice how this $1,000 here is the initial investment or starting amount, and this 200 is the amount of interest earned over five years when we have simple interest at 4%. Let's write this answer as a complete sentence. After five years, the savings bond will be worth $1,200. Let's look at one last question. We're given the formula that p equals 266 times 1.009 raised to the power of t estimates the population of the United States in millions of people t years after 1995. In part a, we're asked to use this formula to estimate the US population in 1995. And we're asked to round to the nearest a million. Well, notice here t equals the number of years after 1995, and because for part A, we're estimating the population for 1995, we'll substitute zero for t into the given equation. Again, this is because 1995 is zero years after 1995. So we'll have p equals 266 times 1.009 raised to the power of zero. Simplifying, we simplify the exponents first, any non-zero base to the zero power is equal to 1, so this simplifies to 266 times 1, which equals 266. But remember, P is in millions of people, so the estimated population in 1995 was 266 million people. So as a complete sentence, the estimated population of the U.S. in 1995 was 266 million. I also want to point out though, if we wanted to write this number out, 266 million would be 266 comma 000 comma 000. For part B, we're asked to use the same formula to estimate the population in the year 2016. Let's first find the value of t. t is going to be equal to the desired year of 2016 minus the base year of 1995, which is equal to 21. So we'll substitute 21 for t in the formula to estimate the population in 2016. So we'll have p equals 266 times 1.009 Makes the power of 21. And now we'll go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation. And again, we are asked to round to the nearest million. So I have 266, open parenthesis, 1.009, close parenthesis, raised to the power of 21, and enter. This represents the number of million. So by rounding to the ones place value here, we are rounding to the nearest million. So we'll round this to 321. So because P is approximately 321, this represents a population of 321 million people. So as a complete sentence, the estimated population of the U.S. in 2016 is 321 million. Another way to write this would be to write 321 million In decimal notation would be three two one comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. 
I hope you found this helpful.